Hey guys, Tatrap here, bringing you some more Warcraft 3 action. Hey, today's morning in the north, we've got Moon playing as Night Elf, going for a Tavern Hero. Picked up the Fire Lord here. And do some aggressive Ancient of War creeping on the expansion camp. Hawk playing as Human, scouting this out. The Scout Footman, and he's gone for the Mountain King. Map is tearing a stand in this one from the Ted Cup 20 group stage. Our players' forces are under attack. So often the Warden, a very popular option on Tyrannus Stand, but not in this particular matchup, because you can you know, blink across some of these gaps. Quite mobile. Good for harassing the human. But yeah, Fire Lord, of course. Did get some buffs. See what it can do. What are you doing? A little bit of harass here. Our players' forces are under attack. But now Hawk creeping out his expansion. Looks like it's going to be an expansion constructing as well. Stops by the shop. Tally stuff. Moon continuing to creep. Has started an expansion. Our forces are under attack. But here comes the MK. He's up to level three. That is a huge amount of lava spawns. Stormball. Oh! <laughs> I think Moon might have been able to hide through that. Didn't quite get him with that last shot. But eventually does go down. Nice little storm bolt there from Hawk. Looks like Moon buys a reveal. Sees that Hawk is also expanding. Lava spawns here about to time out. So just runs away. They will disappear. And Moon is ticking. This tree of life about to complete. Still needs to entangle. Has picked up a berserker as well. Forest troll berserker. Wow, he's using soul boot. Did that get buffed as well? Forget what the buffs were to the fire lord. Oh, there goes the forest troll boat. More soul burn on the MK. I believe that's silencism, right? But didn't really matter too much there. I mean, eventually those storm bolts are gonna come out. It's about making uh, use of that time. While the Mountain King is weak to attack. There's only level one soul burn. Not sure Shadow Priest here now, healing up the MK, Storm Bolt. Oh, that was actually from a crystal ball. That reveal, actually. That was from a lab. It looks like the labs haven't been scouted even yet. Okay, shop coming up at the expansion. Lumber Mill for Hawk, who's also started his tech, but he is way behind in that department. As can happen, competing against Night Elf. Blacksmith coming up. Healing up with a couple of consumables. He's picked attack. up a spear scroll of region as well. Moon trying to creep out the lab now. Stormbolt. Much in trouble. Gonna go down. Oh, he left the Fire Lord in a compromised position. Waiting for the cooldown, I imagine, on that Stormbolt. Gonna look for the surround. The Shred is there to try and jam it. Doesn't close the gap, but the next Stormbolt might just do it. In fact, he turns around. Oh, I think he let the Shredder out there by accident. 
does have bash. And he bashes. Town portal. Moon. The Shredder! Oh, the Shredder got left behind! Oh no! A little bit too far away. He tried to bring it back in, but didn't make it. A town Disastrous is for Moon's Lumber. He's not too far behind on Lumber. He's already got both his laws and his tech underway, so it might not matter too much. Either way, it's really good for Hawk forcing the TP. I think he wants to uh, okay, heal, then pick up the Ring of the Archmagi, plus three to all stats, one of the new Ur items. Don't see it too often, not from many camps. It drops. Stormbolt, I'm going to look for the surround. Oh, that's a, that's a messy one from Hawk. I think he could have done it if he was really clean on the execution. And he's out of mana on the MK now. Does have the boots, so he is pretty fast at chasing him down. I'm tell his stuff out. To, I imagine get a clarity going. A player's forces are under attack. He buys another region scroll. Oh yeah, he's already got the clarity before I even came back here. Wow, he's fast. Okay, here comes the Dryad now. Rostral Berserker's gonna man up on it. Stormbolt forces the town portal. We might leave an archer or two behind here. Yep, there goes one. But he's not even gonna try fight it, he's gonna try creep instead. Interesting. Blood Mage second from Hawk. Still no second hero from Moon. Forces are under attack. It's not like getting to level 6 on the Fire Lord is that rewarding, the Volcano. Did get buffed quite a few patches ago now, but still not that good. It now removes mana from the MK, but also removes all the slow from the footy, so I don't know how helpful that really was for Moon. And ruined braces. Players' forces are under Most attack. Most of the camps on the map now have been crept out. Have I turned this off? There we go. Back on now. I've been playing the uh, Warcraft 2 campaign remake recently, so I might turn this off by accident. I apologize. Players forces are under attack. Okay, fire lord up to four. Got the beers in the mix, master form as well. No upgrades yet for Moon, and he doesn't actually have any coming in either. He's getting a little bit low on lumber. He's pumping the beers though. Huge number of them queued up. Fork still banking up 50 food. Got a couple towers up. But this is a pretty big army coming in. Upgrades the others now. A town is under okay, they're siege. gonna do a bit of trading here. A player's force Storm bolt knocking attack. out some wisps. The repairs are on. Looks like it's gonna be Hawk, the one coming back. His um, army's so weak to try and attack, but goes immediately for the hero focus onto the Fire Lord. His army's getting slaughtered by these bears, though. Another Stormbolt. Fire Lord had the heal scroll to counteract that. Almost every foot he did. A couple breakers done coming now for Hawk, but he might have been a bit greedy with that 50 food bank. He was doing it for a long time. I'm going to try hide next to his towers. Oh, that's a great staff out. See his tier 3 car, so I didn't notice that. Control Berserker goes down. We've got some knights in the mix now. Don't think Hawk should be trying to fight this whatsoever, though. Just stand way closer to his towers. That'd be the way to go. Catches the bear, though, morphing in. Be able to kill that one now for denied actually. Focus fire on the pally, he gets away. And now Hawk's going to get back behind the towers. 
Does have a good number of production buildings though, Hawk. Triple workshop tanks. A oh boy. Our town town. Is under siege. Well, he's, he's sending them across the bridges. Where's this breaker going? Marching to its death here. Hawk maybe needs to leave these guys back at the main until he's got a healthy number of them to actually join the fight. So he's just feeding the kills to Moon. Moon may be a bit of a similar issue. Bring all the rally units in from rally uh, at a bad angle. And here we go. He sees the tanks, he sees the triple workshops. And there's one of them already down here. He's starting up another Ancient of War to defend. He's picked up a shredder as well, Moon. A town is under siege. One workshop down. Well, that's level three now on the Blood Mage. Siphoning mana into the MK is interesting. It's almost out of mana on Pally. Brings in some peasants for repairs. Tank. I'll try to walk its way across. I'll roll its way down. Some involved potion. Starts out the pally. Three tanks here now. Gonna get another Ancient of War completed. Moon doing some repairs. He's going for the Entangled Mine first off. Huge amount of repairs from Moon. Pally meanwhile getting focused. There are two towers here though. Doing a little bit of damage to the Dryads. Squeezes out that tank just before the workshop goes down. Pally falls though. That's level 6 on the Fire Lord. Are we going to see some volcano action? You can see he leveled into the skill. He's town portaling out. And to defend his expansion, the entangled mine did fall though. Tank's now switching. Going for the main or maybe some of the production buildings. During this time, Hawk going to catch up on a bit of creeping. It's five. Kelly's just about back. A More training for the attack. Knights. Retraining on the MK, so he's going to go into the clap. Very good against the Bears, of course. A town is under siege. Oh, tank in the air. Making use of that wand of the wind. Splitting Moon's army up quite a lot here. Two tanks actually managed to escape. He'll be able to repair those back up. A player's forces are this under one attack. definitely tying up Moon's army for a long time as well, giving it the runaround. Gonna look to do a bit more creeping, it seems. If you get three on the pally, that would be huge. Not many camps remaining, though. Probably do it if he crept them all out, but... Tough to do. He's going to give solo experience to the Paladin, though. At least try to get him to two. So we can... Get the Divine Shield going. Or maybe he'll go for the armor, or who knows. That's a big clap. We're holding his ground for now. He's on the run. Decent clap. Trying to stay mobile. Tanks rolling the into the main again. Are under attack. Three tanks. A town is Not under siege. Following for the expansion, they're going after the Ancient of Laws. Here comes a wave of militia. Oh, there's the volcano. Oh, it's owning the expansion. Peasants there though, the militia form, doing some major damage. Oh, that volcano nearly kills the expansion off. He's got some repairs going, he has to town portal out, Moon. Oof, did that bear survive? Unreal. So the expansion, but he killed all of the towers. Probably killed a couple peasants, I think I see maybe two or three corpses there. Nearly killed this. He's going to spend quite a lot of gold repairing it as well, so. Uh, pretty good volcano. 
Looks like these two tanks do not enough damage to knock out the entangled mine. Got 2k left in the main mines. Do we have a mana stone on the MK as well? So he's going to have a huge number of claps up his sleeve. There goes one tank. Healthy number of knights now for Hawk, and they're 2-2 two, two upgraded. Moon's only 2-1 upgraders. Still feels like Hawk is outnumbered, though. There we go. I think Hawk just kind of needs to clap and run, you know? That was a shockingly bad clap. Feels like the siphon hasn't been super broken for from the blood mage. Feels like he hasn't been doing the offensive siphons that often. There goes one now though. Use the mana stone. All the beers are getting extremely low. One more clap, they could go down. Oh, Banish. Keeping the MK alive, but he goes down. Where did he die to? I thought he was ethereal. Maybe he got maybe he got dispelled and killed. Oh no. Look at that. His clutch moon came down from the shop with the heal scroll, healed all his beers, which would have died without the heal scroll. Kept him alive for one more clap. And then killed the MK. Heartbreaking for Hawk. It was looking so promising there for him. He was about to kill like four bears. And it went sideways. So he goes for the buyback on the MK now though. I mean the bears are still quite low. The moon doesn't have a lot of mana on them either to rejuice them back up. So it's just Hawk some time to do a little bit more creeping. Paladin getting close to three. Okay. Oh, there's the volcano again. MK does have Stormbolt. Oh, but he's got the anti-magic shell on. I didn't see that. Okay. He's off now. There's the Stormbolt. Expansion does survive and not O. Fire Lord kind of got caught here. Trapped by the knights. Probably going to have to town portal out. at risk of dying oh I'm gonna be able to kill off these lava spawns quite either killed two more towers and a lot more repairs killed off a lot of peasants looks like maybe four or five dead so again it's a pretty successful volcano maybe I was underselling volcano it's been a rare sight but as I said it did get buffed a few patches ago now I think they changed it roughly so it did more damage like the same amount of damage, but over a five second shorter duration, something like that. Are under attack. Made it quite a bit stronger. Oh, Moon sneaking expansion down the corner here. Oh, gonna spot it. And the mortar team's gonna knock it out. One level of gunpowder on the mortar teams. Siege. Starts up another farm so we can go above 70 food. A player's forces are under attack. Lava spawn in here with the harass. That hawk is going in. He's gonna knock out a couple moon wells here, it looks like. The mortar teams are way out the back. Moon knows this because they were killing his wisp remember so he pounces knocks out one of them early catches hawk a little bit out of position okay he's right in the middle of things though really good clap position 
Looks like just about all the mod teams did now, though. Another solid clap. We have a pretty big food lead at this stage. But does the MK have the staying power with the claps? Need some more siphon action from the Blood Mage. Oh, he's siphoning away from the Fire Lord, who's now up to level 9, unbelievably. Over to the Paladin. A lot of very low health knights here. Moon running away with a lot of low health bears, though. Shredder down. Another mortar team coming in that's immediately getting focused. More siphon from the Fire Lord. Okay, still with a healthy amount of mana. Anti magic shell from Moon. A really good attack rate on that Fire Lord. Looking for some big numbers there. A little bit of an ugly exit from Moon. Only cost him one Dryad, though. Look at all these super low bears, though. Pretty much, you know, the Moomors are not very well stocked. There's some juice in them. Needs to come and drain them before they get sieged down. In fact, if he kills this Moomaw, that should be really good for Hawk. Make Moon stuck at 70 food. Hawk himself, only just an upkeep. The main mines have run dry. Got 2.7k, 2.9. Very, very close on the remaining gold. MK OKs. Now about three quarters of the way to level six now. Peasant's running out. It looks like maybe he's going to start another expansion. Speaking of which, the Tree of Eternity is on the move. Is he going to go right or is he going to go south? He is going south, it looks like. Oh, checking for an expansion here, not happening. So he's going to continue on the attack. There is still a lot of moon wells here. Good target for the mortar teams. He's got a healthy number of them, up to four. Hawk's got one... Just oh, two staffs of preservation, so... Got pretty good staying power. Oh, more teams hidden for big numbers, but look at that volcano! Oh, oh, the stuns out of this world! Oh, this is devastating. Annihilating Hawk's army with the volcano. Actually, positions out of there. Okay, still with a lot of mana here, though. Still got a couple more teams out the back, taking care of the Dryads. Looking kind of good for Hawk right now. Popcap's almost even. Oh, but I didn't see the Chimera roost out the back. Uh-oh. Coming for a detonate. Oh, that's really bad for Hawk. And his almost entirely knight-based army. Uh-oh. He's on the run. One good thing about knights is they're pretty fast. He was chipping away at this base, but not going to be able to knock it out. Chim going straight for the mortar teams. Oh, look at those big hits. Three damage upgrades, by the way. Oh. Stuff out. And uh, yeah, Tree Attorney's down here. Going to deny the long range mining. What happened to. Did all the peon and peasants rather die? Oh boy, those lava spawn harasses. Man, that is painful. Hawk having to rebuild his economy now. He's got a flying machine. Not going to last long though. But hey, it's better than nothing. It's one. Thing to attack the chim. Oh, he's got two of them now. They're pretty Latest fast as well. Are under attack. Get it down to about half. The lava spawn again, just going after Hawk's peasant line. 
So annoying. He's going to come over to for the Tree of Eternity, try and shut down this. It's already up and mining. Got a healthy number of flying the machines together now, siege. Hawk. There's 10 food behind, though. Moving with two Chimera. A player's forces are under attack. It's going to knock out the Tree of Eternity, though. I'll go from that at least. The lava spawns shutting this down and could even kill the expansion here. They were both focusing it, they would have. Alright, well, not looking too good for Hawk right now. His economy in tatters. During all this harass. He's pulled about a thousand extra gold in, largely accounting for his extra units right now. It's a good number of bears and they are very healthy. It's about to be night time again as well. Ooh, big heal potion. It'd be good if the Mountain King goes for any focus fire. Here we go. It looks like the penultimate clash. Stormbolt, focus fire on the Fire Lord, but with that greater healing potion. He waits for uh, the very last second activated though. Could be in trouble to the next Stormbolt, but oh boy, those Chimera just tearing through the human army. There's the volcano again. Interrupted by the Stormbolt though. Chimera getting focused down. So is the Fire Lord, he gets the town portal and just one more attack from the MKU is dead. Helen dies, but uh oh, couple units left behind by Moon. Gonna lose another bear here. Level 5 on the Blood Mage. Level 6 on the MK. And his Moon Wells don't have much juice in them. Flying machines are largely useless. He's walking this tree across to the next position for more gold. A town is under siege. Staff to keep the bear alive. In case running straight after that fire lord. Might have been worth it for Moon to pick up. Oh, you know, actually he's got too many flying machines. Zip them wouldn't work. And there we go. Staff's out the MK. Blood Mage hits six. We gotta pop his ultimate. And I think that's it. Somehow, Hawk taking the win. What a game. That was real back and forth action. Very fun one. Nice to see a bit of Fire Lord action. But yeah, Hawk coming out on top right at the end there. I thought when that first Chimera arrived, that was gonna be the GG move, but they're pretty fast at just running away. Those knights. <laughs> And then somehow you only managed to amass just enough flying machines to turn the tides. GG, what a game. Well, anyway, guys, a wrap on that. Thanks for tuning in to some more Warcraft reaction. Until next time, goodbye and good luck.